Okay, so we have our animation here. It is strange and at places it looks uh, completely horrendous. So let's start to uh, fix this. And in this part, I want to focus on the things that I can fix by adjusting the meta rig, if there are any, and I believe there will be. So let's see what happens. You can support CG Dive by purchasing this course or some of the exclusive courses on academy.cgdive.com. Subscription is also available. Okay, I'm going to start from the start of the uh, animation and play it back. And first I want to uh, focus on the fingers and see what problems I can find. So here right away I can see that the pinky is uh, rotating a little bit to the side. So when it rotates uh, inwards, it rotates a little bit to the side and then when it rotates up it kind of goes to the other side. So the bones in the metal rigs are probably to blame. So let's move the slider back to frame zero, unhide the metal rig and focus on that pinky. Go to edit mode for the metal rig and I want to activate x-axis mirror so whatever I fix on this side will be fixed on the other side and I can see right away that the pinky is not quite straight so I'm going to select the whole pinky with the uh, palm bone press shift h to isolate it select the whole pinky with this uh, part as well and switch to scale and then I want to scale on the y-axis and that will straighten the pinky. Okay, unhide the generated trick and generate. Now I want to switch this area to the dope sheet. Select the action and uh, I'm going to also rename it to something like over action arms and I'm going to click this um, fake user button so that we never lose this action. Hide the meta rig and let's scrub through our action and focus on the pinky. It seems to still be bending the, the wrong way but let's go to pose mode and see what's happening. Now I have a lot of widgets over here that get in the way and I can clean them up but I think I'm going to create a very, very simple uh, script that is going to do that, that for me uh, very quickly because we are going to probably uh, jump from the meta rig to the generated rig a lot. So let's do that. I'm going to expand this area here and switch it to info. And then I'm going to hide these layers that I don't, don't need. I don't need the face, the torso tweaks, the finger details, arm IK, arm tweak, and all of the legs. And as I was clicking these uh, layers here, um, in the info window, I got all of this Python com commands. If I now select them all uh, by shift clicking on each one and press control C while hovering over this selection, then I can go to a text editor, create a new text file, call it Greek quick setup or something like that. Um, then I'm going to type import BPY. Import BPY is necessary as a first command for every Blender script. And then I'm going to simply press Ctrl V and that will paste all of this Python commands that I got from here. Now if I unhide all of these commands and press this play button, you'll see that these layers were uh, hidden again with a single click. Okay, so now I'm going to get rid of this info window. Here I'm going to create another window and change it back to the outliner and I can really compress this area. All I need from this text editor is the play button and that will allow me to set up my rig with a single click. Okay, now this finger is kind of pointing to the side but if I uh, press Alt R and Alt S to bring it back to the uh, default state and then if I set this pose again, maybe we'll get better results. And yes, the results are perfect actually. So the pinky is now fixed, but um, looking at the bend of this finger, I think that uh, the 
positioning of all finger bones is still not optimal. So I'm going to go to frame zero, object mode, unhide my meta rig, hide the generated rig, and let's look at these bones from the side view. So in edit mode, I'm going to select this outer bone, the index finger, shift H to isolate it. I think I can move the connection between the bones closer to the knuckle and I think that will produce better deformations. Let's do that for the next finger. The finger geometry is a little bit hidden but uh, I think I can make a good estimate where to place the bones, somewhere around here. And let's do the same for the next finger. This time I'm going to look from the back view instead of the front. And the pinky. The pinky was off by quite a bit. Unhide the generated trick and generate. Set my action and click the play button to set up the layers. And now I can check the deformations. And yeah, I can see more volume in the tip of the finger and in the other fingers. With some weight painting, I think it will look even better. Now this thumb also bothers me a little bit. It doesn't look good, but I think the pose that I try to set is a little bit too extreme. So if I actually try to hit a pose that, it, that looks natural, let's see if that will work. So something like that. That's almost acceptable. I may have to tweak something. And also by uh, changing the uh, weights, I may get better results, but for now that will do. Okay, let's let's move further. But here, uh, because I have um, auto keying on, I did set some uh, keyframes that I didn't want to. So let's go to frame 40 and then create this new pose. Something like this. Okay, the fingers and the palm are starting to look good. On this frame, uh, the pinky is still a little bit, uh, is going a little bit to the side, but I think this is again because of the uh, frames that I set previously, that they weren't very correct, so I'm going to press Alt-R and then rotate this pinky on the x-axis and it's looking good. Now I'm going to actually turn auto King off for a second so that I don't set any uh, unwanted keyframes. The spread out fingers are looking okay. If you're looking for Blender add-ons, check out addons.cgdive.com. And next we're going into the wrist rotation, which automatically creates this uh, rotation in the lower arm. And we can see a very ugly flipping here. And not only the flipping, but also we have this dip in the arm, which is uh, not natural. We need to fix that somehow. Move to frame 1, object mode, hide the generated rig, unhide the meta rig, and let's look at it from the top view. And the bend in the elbow is way too pronounced. So in edit mode, I want to straighten this uh, arm as much as possible while leaving a little bit of an angle. I'm doing some very fine adjustments that I feel would benefit me. And then I'm going to generate. Of course, I'll get an error because my generated trick is hidden. Always unhide the generated trick. Set the action, set up the layers, and then scrub through the animation. And the flipping is still there, but this dip that we used to have is gone, which is great. Now this flipping is at a very very extreme angle. I'll experiment a little bit more and try to fix it, but at some point I may actually have to accept that this is the way uh, this rig is. In that case I'll just be careful never to hit this pose in which I get the flipping. But anyway, let's go to the meta rig and see if we can fix something. When we chose X manual here, uh, we got this additional option that we don't have with automatic and it says auto align hand 
and this feature is not well documented, but let's experiment with it. Let's do the same for the other arm as well. Make sure that it's checked and generate the rig. Set the action, set up the layers. And the flipping still happens, but much later. So we did have some success with this. It used to happen at frame 117 and now it happens at 120. So that's a little bit better. I'm going to try one last thing, and while I'm back in my meta rig, I want to do something else as well. Currently, my rig is set up so that the upper arm and the lower arm are subdivided into two subsections. And these subsections are especially important for the twisting of the lower arm. And so if we had three separations in the lower arm, that will create even nicer uh, transitions and twisting. And that is very easy to set up with Rigify. And the same way, if we had three separations here, that will create nicer deformations over here in the shoulder. So back to the meta rig, pose mode, choose this arm, and limb segments are currently set to two. This creates this uh, double separation that I just explained. And if we set it to three, then we'll have three separations. Let's do that for the other arm as well. And then in edit mode, switch to octahedral and go to item. Let's try to play with the roll just a little bit. Let's lower the value just a little bit. So from uh, 1 to 2 to 110. And then I can generate. Let's set the action. And yes, no twisting. Excellent. I can go to pose mode and let's try to twist this arm even further. We still get the twisting, but it's a, a very extreme angle, so everything seems good. Something that I need to do now is to reparent with automatic weights, because when I increase the separations, I also added more deformation bones. So I need to parent with automatic weights and that will add those deformation bones. And you, you probably notice that this area changed and it, in my opinion, it looks better now. Okay, so we are making very good progress. Next is this bending of the arm and it looks really bad. There is a lot of clipping or intersection between the geometries of the lower arm and the upper arm. And uh, the elbow is quite smooth. We want it to be more pointy and we can partially fix that with uh, weight painting, both of these problems, but I think they'll also require correction bones. For now, I just make a mental note about this, but I'm not going to try to fix it right now. Next, I have the twisting of the whole arm and we have some very bad deformations but I don't think there are any problems with the bones themselves. So let's move forward. The upward uh, movement of the arms, again, bad deformations, really bad stretching of the pecs, but the bones look okay. Downwards, same thing, bad deformations, but bones should be fine. Backwards, same thing. Forward, very bad deformation, but I think the bone positioning is fine. Here we do get some really bad flipping. And the rest is again bad deformations, but um, the bones seem fine. And here I want to use this opportunity to fix this pose a little bit. Let's select the generated trick, go to pose mode. From the pose options, enable auto IK and X axis mirror. Select the lower arm bone and move it a bit on the X axis. The pose that I actually wanted is with the hands almost touching. And now I didn't have auto key on, so I'm going to turn it on and move the bone a little bit to create the key. Okay, so now I can focus on this last uh, problem that I think is related to the bone placement and that is this flipping. And again, I'm not 100% sure that I can fix it, but I'll try. I'm going to try to move this bone 
back a little bit so it, it is more right in the center of the volume of the arm. And I'll try to fix the roll as well, the same way we did for the lower arm. So let's do something like for the lower arm. Let's set it to 110 and generate the rig, apply the action, set up the layers. And the flipping is gone. Perfect. Now, depending on how you place your bones, you may get problems that I didn't get. And that is great opportunity to practice problem solving, which is a huge part of rigging. But if you bump into some problem that you absolutely cannot solve, uh, feel free to email me. But I'm really happy with the uh, results so far, even though the deformations are still hideous. But that is what we are going to be addressing in the next videos. The next video will be a primer in uh, weight painting, just in case you have no idea you've never done any weight painting before. And then we are going to very quickly paint this guy and it will look much better. That's it for this chapter. Please like, subscribe and check out our other projects. Academy.cgdive.com and addons.cgdive.com